All those flight hours at Sky Strike Academy and for what? Just to get kicked out and end up here? Stupid empire. Roddy, good to see you. Listen, pal, I'm looking for a friend named Paldora. You know him? After you left me stranded during the Zerka job? Not a chance. Come on, it all worked out. It must have, because here you are. Back off. Find your pal Dora on your own. You two can talk about your stupid beards. So he's a bearded guy. Got it. The jar requires half the tactical thinking of something like Cubicon. The simplicity of getting those plays where they need to be makes me feel like... Hey, Mr. Paldora. Long time no see. My Wookiee pal was just asking about you. You must be confusing me with that insufferable man upstairs. My mistake. Don't you have anything to say? I just poured my heart out. Wait. Can you do that? Sounds dangerous. Our students four. Wait, were they dangerous? Why are you just staring at me? Is that what we're doing now? Staring? I can do that. Let's do it. Let's stare. Look at me. I'm staring. I can get you all the moon yakul you want, but the question remains. You know, you look just like a friend of mine, name of Haldora. You think I look like that idiot drinking Maranzane gold? He can afford to drink Maranzane gold? Must be nice, right? I've never actually met a woman, but I've read all about them. They're absolutely fascinating. Did you know they live in trees? Han Solo! I'm Imperial Specialist Ralsius Paldora. It is a pleasure to finally meet you. Shh. You want to keep it down? Oh, right, right. Because we're meeting incognito. Come on. We need to get you out of here. Off we go, then. I have the information you asked for. Not on me, of course. I've hidden two data cubes in the woods. For safety. You've got to be kidding me. The first one has Imperial shipping routes, fueling locations, hidden armaments. It's all for the Republic, in exchange for safe passage of time. What about your Kashyyyk intelligence? It's in a separate location. Trust me, I have everything you need to free the world. Tell me how you learned all this stuff. Imperial officers like to talk. Oddly enough, most statisticians are killed by apprentice statisticians. Oh dear. Friends of yours? I assume this is your fault? Usually is. What's my number one rule, Solo? No fighting. Come on. We gotta move. I stashed the first data cube at a generator just ahead. I... You really couldn't bring the intel with you, huh? Mr. Soap, I'm a covert agent now. I wasn't bringing the information with me. The cantina is full of... well, scoundrels. Let's just get the data and get to the Falcon. Officer, blast him! Get them, Han Solo! Don't you think we should move toward the generator? Stormtroopers, stay quiet. We gotta take them out. No, no. You do. This blaster's just for show. I never learned to shoot. <laughs> Great. Impressive, Han Solo. The data cube is here. Somewhere. <laughs>
Hmm, nothing here. Got it. The intelligence on that data cube should help your friends in the Republic. Look out! More of them! Where's the Kashyyyk intelligence? Stored near a lovely shrine just through the forest. Onward! You must have good intel if they're sending this many troopers after you. Well, the Empire is in worse shape than anyone realizes. They're terrified the Republic will find out. The fleet is burning more fuel flying away from your attacks than it can resupply. Asylum! Our starfighter numbers are down 3.4%. That's all great, but what about Kashyyyk? Are you sure your information can help the Wookiees? I'll just be over here. Safe and sound. <laughs> Intel. I'll find it. <laughs> Found it. Reinforcements. Get down. Getting down. Get you onto the Wookiee planet. Now, to your famous Falcon. You know the Falcon? <laughs> yeah. On average, I'd say 2.2 of every 300 Imperials knows the Millennium Falcon. Shouldn't we get to the ship?
Improvise explosives. Run, would you, pal? I'll hold them off. Just get this ship ready to fly. Today is not my favorite day. Stay imaginable. Once it would be nice if they didn't put up a fight. Where's the fun in that, General? Form up on me. 
Enemy starfighter headed for General Solo. I see him. Proton torpedoes are ready. Excessive, but effective. Shipyard assault a year back. This YT-1300 freighter you've got is something, but its hyperdrive fails 1.22 times more often than the 2400. Shui, get him out of my cockpit. No wait, I'll behave. get rid of us that easily. She's all yours, Commander. I'm telling you, girl, whatever you did to this droid, it's not right. <laughs> I just fixed it. You can't blame me if it likes you now. Inferno Squad. Shrim, I haven't seen you since Lando volunteered you for this. How you been? Wonderful, Senator. What's on your mind, Commander? According to Peldora's intel, my father has been running operations on Bespin and Sullust. I'd like your permission to find him and capture him. You don't report to me, Aiden. A fleet command might not approve us undertaking such a personal mission. Ah, oh, well, 
We can't have an Imperial Admiral out there reinforcing the fleet, can we? I'd appreciate you bringing him in, Commander. Yes, ma'am. And may the Force be with you. Searchlights all over the city. Task will be in the Overseer's Tower on Chinook Station. Better stick to the clouds so they don't spot us. According to Paldora's intel, my father's been refueling his fleet at Chinook Station for months. Our old friend Hask is overseeing the operation. If we can capture him and shut down the station, we'll strike a solid blow to the Empire. Not to mention, Hass could be the key to finally tracking down the Admiral. If we're lucky. There's always more to it than luck. Wow, take a look at all these Beldons. I think it's cute you study a planet's wildlife before we visit. Hey, if they make the Tabana gas the Empire needs, the Beldons are mission critical. If you say so. You know, if we find your father, take him out of the fight, we'll be a lot closer to ending this war. I know it's been a rough six months, but we'll get him this time. I can feel it. <laughs> I don't doubt that. I was actually curious about what happens afterwards when the war's over. Honestly, I haven't really thought about it. A life of Imperial training isn't worth much in the civilian sector. What about you? I thought I might travel. See the galaxy, Lothar, my capo. <laughs> You've been to those places. As a soldier, I want to see them when they're free. That actually sounds really nice. There's the landing pad. They shouldn't spot our ships down here. <laughs> 